The issue of women in politics has been present in the Arab world for a while now. Lebanon is one of the lowest ranked countries in terms of women representation in the public realm. About 3.12% of the parliament constitutes women and only one of the 30 ministers is a woman. These numbers are frightening as Lebanon is one of the first countries to declare universal suffrage, even before Switzerland. There is an apparent link between religion, politics and patriarchy in Lebanon. Also, there is a divide that exists between the private and the public realm, and the media is only making it harder for women to reach high-level positions in politics. Religion is an aspect of life that is rooted in Lebanon's culture. It has made its way to politics so much that Lebanon has made its political system a sectarian one. The fact that Lebanon applies ethno-sectarian politics and laws and that religion is an institution run by men is stripping women from some of their basic rights as citizens. In fact, this has created patriarchal social norms that are based on the various religions present in this country and this is restricting women from their rights to practice politics at high levels. Dr. Tamilas Fakhouri, a political science professor at the Lebanese American University in Biblos, argues that the problem is not in the participation of women in the public realm, but rather their inability to reach high-level positions in politics. Some may believe that this divide is caused by the interrelation of religion and politics and how patriarchy, which is a result of this dichotomy, is causing legal harm to female citizens of Lebanon. In the same interview conducted with Dr. Fakhouri, she comments on this issue. So the system in itself, the way you know it anchors actually or it intertwines patriarchy and sectarianism, according to many civil society activists, is a major obstacle hampering a woman's access to politics. The mixture of politics and religion in the Lebanese political system has created a set of patriarchal sectarian personal status laws that render women completely dependent on their husbands to accomplish basic civil rights like the right to vote and the right to custody. These patriarchal personal status laws are prioritizing men's needs over women's, which is slowing down change in the system for the integration of women in the high public positions. As most media outlets in Lebanon are sectarianized, they tend to disseminate the political agenda of the specific party they are associated with that is anchored within the sectarian political system of Lebanon. Outlets, because by being subservient to the system, are not being able to launch, you know, certain uh, emancipatory programs when it comes to women's leaderships or something. Notwithstanding this, there are there is a certain awareness. There are certain media networks that are trying to reverse this mentality and to talk about the independence of the media. There are journalists who uh, are disseminating such a narrative. Yet it's very difficult for them to survive because you know. When it comes to the to their salaries you know they need to work somewhere moreover the media tends to hypersexualize women in politics that end up not being taken seriously by focusing on their looks rather than their ideas and opinions one of the biggest examples being Sitri Dajaja this tends to discourage the promotion of women leadership in high public political realm positions some of you might be asking yourselves if there is a solution to all of this. Can the Lebanese government establish fair civil personal status laws so that women can start integrating themselves in the public realm? Some scholars might disagree and say the sectarian system here is too complicated to establish a common ground between all. On the other hand, scholars like Nadja Khalife, a researcher in women's rights, suggest that women start by entering smaller level positions to establish a political PR to gain credibility and slowly integrate themselves in high level positions. طبعا المراه عندها دور ودور اساسي ولكن مش بس المراه يعني انا بحب انه نوصل لوقت نتخطى فيه هذا الكلام ونقول قديش الانسان النزيه والقادر يلي عنده كفاءه عنده دور يلعبه بالحياه السياسيه بلبنان